Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA-18C and we're looking at the RWR, the Radar Warning Receiver. This is a passive system that listens to radar emissions from other vehicles and reports them on a top-down display for the pilot's consideration. In this case, we've got myself there, a hostile F-15 there, a hostile SA-6 there, and a hostile Chinese destroyer there. This is the physical RWR set here, the ALR-67, and the display is on our EW page, so we're going to go to EW. Now, this is an integrated system in this aircraft, like most modern aircraft. This integrates the ALR67 RWR with the ALE47 CMDS countermeasure system that's chaff, flare and gen X expendables and the ASPJ is the ECM jammer. And when I say the integrated they can actually communicate with each other to be a fully comprehensive intelligent self-protection system. First we'll look at the symbology on the EW page. The ASPJ is our jammer and is currently turned off. It's fully covered in our ECM tutorial. The ALR67 is our RWR and it's currently receiving. If we turned it off out of interest, it would now be off. And it's receiving again. Here is the ALE47 CMDS. It's currently on standby, so it cannot be used as it stands. We can get extra functionality here. We've got ARM, we've got the Gen X suspendables, we've got chaff, flare, and we can step through modes here. That's all covered in the chaff and flare countermeasures video. Next is hard. If we want the symbology to also be displayed on the hard, we click that there. And we can see the RWR symbology is displayed here with these guys here. It's usual practice to leave the hard marker on. Next is mode. We change here the mode of use of the AEL 47 CMDS. Do we want to use manual and program one? Semi-automatic where the RWR based on the RWR threat will choose which countermeasure program to use but you still have to release it manually. Or fully auto where the RWR chooses which countermeasure program to use and also expends it for you, releases it for you or standby. Next, the top-down symbology. That is us there. That is our 12 o'clock position there always. We can see that a boat is there, an F-15 is there, an SA-6 is there, and a Mirage just disappeared for some reason. And it shows their azimuth. It does not show their range, but it does show their azimuth. So 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, roughly speaking. It is what we call a threat-based RWR display. So if the threats are considered non-lethal, as they are now, i.e. they do not have a track on me or they're not firing missiles at me they'll be in the outermost band around here if they are tracking me with a single target track or some kind of radar track then there will be this band here called lethal and if they are firing a missile at me and they are termed critical they will be in this band here next we'll need to look at some more in-depth symbology so this is a list of symbols here we've got the alr 69 from the a10c and the av8b here the alr 67 from the fa 18c here so this is our guy here all credit to Slicey who, who sorted this out so for an airborne threat we've got an upside chevron there for an airborne friendly we've got a half dome there for an airborne unknown we've got our staple there for a single target track we've got the upside down dome there for jammer strobe we've got that sign there an optical track that sign there that is a sam sign that is an early warning radar that is a triple a that is a ship and that is a harm target and these here are the designations for these eastern these western planes these ground targets these western ground targets eastern and western ships that will go in these various boxes so we can see that this is an unknown naval vessel this is an airborne f-15 and this is a ground sa-6 now let's go back to the alr-67 manual panels as we saw earlier we could turn the system on and off we can change the audio level remember this gives us audio signals as well as visual signals we can change the dimmer which is just the brightness here display if we like we can limit the display of symbols here up to the highest priority six and that would have limit on there special has no current function offset if we put it on it will say offset here that means that if symbols were overlapping each other which is very possible if they're on a similar azimuth it will spread them out so you can see them and then you can disable like that we've got a built-in test there next we have the display mode it's currently set in normal here we can have it in ai airborne intercept this will filter out any airborne intercept we could have it triple a so it filtered out any triple a radar guided and we can have unknown so it filtered out any unknown currently not working obviously but it's something that will work in the future usually we'll just keep that to normal and it's just a way of decluttering 
the visual. Next we'll unpause, we'll see how the roleplay develops and see what changes with these symbols. Okay, he's now got us in a single target track. We know that because you can see we've got the upside down dome appended to his symbol. He's also moved to the lethal threat ring. Next, we'll expect him to fire upon us. One other thing I should show here is we do have indications of which type of radar is locking us. In this case, it's a surface to air missile ground based radar. We could have a triple A threat. We could have an AI, that's an airborne intercept, that's a, that's a hostile fighter, or a continuous wave, which usually means a missile has been fired at you. We can see this guy has a lock on us because his tag here is longer and it's dashed okay so we can see now we've got the audio warning that he's been fired on us we've got a lot extended tag here we've got the tag here showing which direction the missile is coming from and it's flashing and the symbol is flashing Let's see if we can see the missile there it is so now we need to take evasive action and what we're going to show here is a flaw in this system so stand by Stop right there. Note it's disappeared. Now that doesn't mean we've beaten the missile. We certainly haven't. It just means that we are now in the dead zone of the RWR system. RWR systems always have a blind spot. That's downwards like that and upwards like that to quite a high degree. So our passive coverage is 360 degree omnidirectional up to an elevation of about that down to an elevation about that. Anything above or below that will have a blind spot as we can see here. So what we see if we level out now that missile is actually still chasing us. Well, yeah, you see the missile is still coming after us. Also see we've got continuous wave here, which means it's a radar supporting a missile. I should point out that we do actually have a, I feel like, analog viewer for the RWR down here, where we can change the brightness here. But you can tell by the location of it is very much secondary to the digital display in the EW, the Electronic Warfare page. I hope that was useful and see you later.